Hello there beautiful people, or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I'm trying something a little bit different. Well, that's not sure I've done one of these before, but I don't often do them. It's like a get ready with me. So I'm just, I was just about to do my makeup for the day um, and I thought, oh, why not grab the camera and film this? Because I just love watching them. I love watching get ready with me's. I don't know why, there's just something so soothing about watching people do their makeup and so I figured why not share my own version. Um, mine might not be so soothing because I'm not a makeup artist so this will be a bit like what is she doing? Who knows? That's part of the excitement. Um, most of my products are from NYX just because like literally no reason. There's no reason other than I like not making decisions and so once I got one product that I liked from there I was like I'm gonna buy all of my makeup from this specific brand. Without further ado let's get into it. Um, my skin is moisturized. I've been like trying uh, or like creating a scientific <laughs> skincare routine in terms of I've been reading up on different ingredients, researching products and um, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like I feel like I'm really happy with my skin right now. But I've never really had any huge skin issues to be completely honest with you. You know, back in the day I used to wash it with soap and rub Vaseline on my skin and I I, I would be really happy with it and I genuinely look back and wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> um but yeah, recently I've been like investing in skincare products and like trying out different actives, um, active ingredients and things like that. And I do think my skin feels uh, really hydrated. I don't know that it looks much different. I feel like all I had was like a dip in terms of reactions to a new routine and then it kind of went back to normal. So yeah, if you do want um, a skincare routine video, then I can definitely do that for you. I do think that I will carry on trying out new products and like adjusting things as I go. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video. I will start by putting my hair out of the way. But this super cute scrunchie. I love scrunchies. They're so good for like not breaking your hair or ripping your hair out every time that you take it down. How do I want to look today? Do I want to do I want to be matte or dewy? The light keeps moving on me, which is very annoying, but I'm starting off with this High Glass NYX Primer. I've had this for ages now. I don't even use it that much, to be completely honest. Um, I'm just going to dab that on my skin, and it's very, like, glimmery. This is literally the glimmeriest primer I've ever used. Like, look at it. Like, look how glimmery. That is. And that is what I apply to my skin. Um, during summer, I would also just wear this primer with concealer. Um, and I really liked it. <laughs> and I would just go with that foundation. I personally really liked that look. Okay, then while that is like setting, I'm gonna like brush up my eyebrows. I do have a mirror behind this camera, but it's not very good. And I always find, I don't know why I do that. I always find that I never look close up while I'm doing my makeup. It's a really bad habit. Okay, then I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. Um, again, I'm not a professional. This is just in whatever order I can be bothered to do it. Um, I'm using, oh, Lord knows what brush that is. I don't know. It's just a fluffy brush. Um, I do like going for a natural makeup look. I remember when I was in uni, gosh, that's like, seven years ago now no nine years ago now in freshers i used to love doing like bold makeup looks i used to love doing like green and pink eyeshadow not green and pink but you know what i mean like different color eyeshadow and to be honest like i pulled that ish off i think my makeup skills weren't great they still aren't but like i very much enjoyed that phase um but recently i just don't really want any color on my face i think it's also to do with being blonde I feel like the blonde is the statement <laughs> so anything in addition to that is just like okay and we get it we get it you're cool we get it you know just to show you what I'm using I'm using this morph palette which is like which is so old and I just refuse to buy a new one because I have so much eyeshadow I have so much eyeshadow and it's just ridiculous. Like, I don't think I've ever finished an eyeshadow palette, so I want to finish this one. I don't even know if that's possible. Does anyone ever finish eyeshadow palettes or do they just get bored and break them? I think they just get bored and break them. So I'm using this, like, lighter colour as the base. So I'm using this one 
in the inner corner i'm using like a more brown for like oh the middle eye and you know i probably should change brush or rub it off because then it does just become this big brown smudge I'm trying to be really intentional about my youtube and commit to doing three new videos every week that is very hard however this is something i really want to stick to mainly because I love YouTube and I really, really want to build this channel and I know that that is what it takes and I know that, you know, this channel has actually grown considering how relatively few videos I do, it has grown and I'm really grateful for that but I do want it to grow even more and I know that by putting in more effort to that, that's the only way I'll figure out if it's possible for it to grow even more. Um, and I also just love uploading. I love when I upload a video and you guys leave a comment and we can just like chat about life. Like, I think it's definitely one of those things that I'm like, yeah, I'm really, really glad that I chose to start a YouTube channel because it's just, it brings so much happiness into my life. And I love when people like enjoy my workouts and they get benefit from some of the like concepts and things that I share. And, and I also benefit from other people's YouTube channels, you know, I will watch other people's YouTube channels and I'll feel inspired, I'll feel happy. Um, and so I wanna like share that as well. But that said, it is a lot of work and it is really, really difficult to be editing these videos um, and like finding time to film, especially as, you know, I do still work as a doctor. I haven't posted a lot about that, mainly because I don't really want this channel to be all about medicine. Every time I post a video about my work, I get a load of questions about like applying to med school and, and all this other stuff, which is great. But it's just not necessarily what I want to focus on on this channel. So I will leave that to other channels for the time being still work and so trying to get the balance especially during a pandemic like it's crazy you have all this extra time um but then you don't also have all this extra time because your work hours increase and everything changes and life happens and there's so much going on so it is just a question of like prioritizing and doing youtube more and i want to do that so please feel free to hold me accountable and the way i do my brows these days is pretty rogue i just kind of do like an under bit, an over bit, and then some lines. <coughs> and I'll do the same on the other side. Under bit, arch, and some lines. And I have been trying to like grow up my eyebrows a bit more. Um, because even though I didn't pluck them a crazy amount, I did kind of overpluck them. Oh my gosh, I look crazy. This is why I don't like doing get ready with me. Because it's like, what the hell? Um, and then I just like brush, brush it. And it tends to just start looking more like an eyebrow again. And I find that is my very lazy way of <laughs> getting something of a decent, natural-ish, fluffy looking brow. I'd really like to find a good like brow gel that actually gets them to like stand up um, but I've struggled to do that so far and I know they look dodged but I kind of like them like this but yeah 2021 what are the things I'm focusing on so I've made a vision board I don't really share that on this channel much I'm just gonna take off my jacket because otherwise I'm gonna get so much makeup on. I think that one thing that 2020 has taught me is how powerful, or one thing I've learned during 2020 is how powerful our mindset is. Oh, I'm using this foundation, by the way. Can't stop, won't stop. NYX, shock horror. Um, how, in <laughs> and yes, I apply it with a sponge by just dragging it across my face. Um, yeah, one thing I've definitely learned hugely in 2020 was how powerful our mindsets can be and how much our minds and the way that we think and our beliefs can dictate what shows up in our life and what we allow ourselves to create in our lives and since i've been learning that i'm like oh wow that's really powerful and so there's loads of stuff that i could be doing differently or better to create more of the life that i want to live and so i started like you know i've always been into self-help books but i've been really into them recently and just listening to so many books and podcasts like i literally listen on double speed 
I know that this is like slightly red based and dark but it, I always overdo it on the concealer so yeah I listen to so many books and podcasts and I've just been learning so so much about mindset and habit formation and just how to life like we learn how to read and we learn how to do all these other things but no one really teaches you that much how to build a happy life oh I know that this is way too light but um I wasn't allowed to test the colour um, and they do say that you can take it back and change it but because the pandemic they weren't letting people try it out but I just I really can't be bothered so I just offset it with a different concealer anyway so you'll have to say I've been learning a heck of a lot and very much enjoying it um, and with that just trying to just always improve like I'm such a big fan of self-improvement I think I think it was when oh, so I was a really weird kid but when I was little I remember thinking about like changing the world and wanting to make the world a better place and then I realized I remember thinking this probably when I was like seven I realized that actually changing yourself like changing what you want to do like doing what you actually want to do and like you know I was constantly having to tidy my room and I was like why can't I just be tidy um I realized that that was actually really hard <laughs> so I was like well you're not going to change the world unless you can change yourself really you've got to start with yourself and I think you know um, it was a combination of that and like you know my older siblings and my parents who would talk about these things and so I've always been really into like self-improvement and like just trying to learn to be a better person like I heard this really interesting point actually on um a podcast that he was talking about I can't remember the guy's name I'll try and find it and put it like in the text somewhere on this video he's basically talking about how the key like your identity should be as a learner so you have certain beliefs you have certain values certain ways of doing things but the truth of who you are should be as a learner so anytime someone offends you or disagrees with you you approach it with what can I learn from this and and rather than it being like oh they've offended who I am it's actually oh what does this what insight does this person have and so you're just constantly seeking what you can learn rather than you know just setting up camp in any set in any set area instead you're actually always looking to learn and understand and I find that such a good place and I think it's a really good habit as well if you often hear of like old people being stuck in their ways and so if I'm gonna get stuck in a way I want to be stuck in the way of constantly learning <laughs> so I'm the kind of person who's constantly listening and adaptable like I want to make a habit that I can see something learn something and adapt and become better um, which I don't know that I've perfectly created that but it's definitely something I'm working on and trying to curate and I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoy, you know, I'm so grateful for all these authors who like study things and look at research and look into psychology and just write these books that can literally change your life. Um, yeah, so I'm constantly like <laughs> messaging people, people who inspire me, people that I want to be more like. I'm constantly messaging them and asking them for book recommendations. I listen to this podcast, feel feel better live more I think it's called by Dr Chatterjee um and oh my goodness he's amazing he's a GP who's just so well spoken and so insightful and is basically doing a world of good with his work and his podcast is basically my reading list like he'll have a guest on there and I'm like oh my gosh they're amazing I need to get their book and so um I don't physically read by the way I like listen to audiobooks because my bad it's it's basically I hate like not I hate I find it really hard to sit still with a book in my hand I find it so so hard I love it when I do it but to get to that point is really difficult so if I can be doing my makeup and listening to a book and I listen to them on like double speed as well and I'll like slow them down or I'll listen to them again or at a slower rate um if I find they're a that it's a really good podcast or book um which is like quite funny <laughs> um but I do then get more of the information a lot quicker than if I forced myself like oh I have to be a book physical book reader I just wouldn't do it so I'm kind of meeting myself allowing myself that grace to like you know if audiobooks are how you do it then great listen to all the audiobooks and all the podcasts and learn and some of the books actually um oh I'm using this like luminator liquid thing by the way I find it helps me glow a little more um, yeah, some of the books I do actually end up ordering in hard copy because because I want to sit down and work through them. Like there was this one book um, by Nia Eyal called Indistractable um, that I actually ended up 
uh, sitting down with a notepad and paper, listening on 1x speed, which I never do, <laughs> and just studying how can I apply this. And oh my goodness, that book has helped me so, so much. Um, because I've been, you know, with making the plan, with doing more videos, I've really been trying to get on top of like my time management skills. And that has helped me so, so much to reduce the amount that I procrastinate. Um, I just, I, I've listened to that book at least four or five times, particularly chapter six. Chapter six, it is, a, it is about how to learn to love tasks that you hate. And that is just life changing. I need to actually get the book that that chapter refers to but it's basically about how anything can be fun anything can be play it depends how we approach it and one thing i've always wanted to do is run a marathon but i hate running long distance um <laughs> so why do you want to mar run a marathon you ask i don't know i think it's just one of those like achievement things that has always been in the back of my mind um and so during lockdown i want to start running but i hated it and after listening to that chapter, I was like, I don't hate running. I do not really. Yes, am I 99% fast twitch fiber? Absolutely. But deep down, I don't really hate running long distance. I've just approached it differently because I've been a sprinter my whole life because I'm more of a powerful athlete. Um, running long, slow distances has not been my natural take to. That doesn't mean that I can't learn to. And after listening to that chapter and applying, you know, some of the things it suggests, I ended up running 10 miles in one go and absolutely loving it. And now, you know, my run is scheduled for later today. Um, I'm running 5k today and I'm really looking forward to it. Like I genuinely enjoy running. And I, oh my gosh, also runner's high is such a thing. It is insane. Like I can't believe how happy you get after you run. It's just crazy. Anyway, say all that to say, I'm loving listening to and reading all these books. And like, I really do just want to like be... I don't want to say be a better person but be better at life like I really do want to like figure it out and do it well and live like a fulfilling joyful life that blesses other people I'm really enjoying learning how to do that I think I'm, I'm not you know perfect but I'm getting much better yeah that's what I've kind of been up to I can't remember why I started that yeah so I'm basically trying to do what these books say so different things have talked about the power of gratitude that is something I applied immensely during 2020 and genuinely even though it was one of the worst years of my life for reasons that I don't even know if I want to go into on YouTube I keep going back and forth on this in my head and maybe I will <laughs> make a video about what really went down in 2020 um but basically it was one of the hardest years of my life and yet it was one of the happiest because I've, I've just been so full of gratitude like every morning writing down my what I'm grateful for um my testimonies my prayers my intention for the day it's just amazing and then I'm adding to that affirmations so um I know <laughs> I did that whole live series and um, I keep forgetting about my makeup it's so hard this is really hard to like do your makeup and talk like I keep getting distracted what do I want to do next I don't know blush I say blush it's not really brush it's just another eyeshadow platter as you guys know I did that whole live series on my YouTube of um, my affirmations and my morning routine like start the day with me I have actually written up the ebook of my morning health affirmations which I would highly recommend definitely get that I'll pop the link in the description box of this video um, and that is oh that's way too much oh no oh no oh no way too high as well okay we're just gonna be we're just gonna be very embarrassed today and that's okay um yeah i've written up those affirmations and just like creating the mindset of belief you know the different areas that i struggle with or that i'm weak in just creating first of all that belief and that identity change that actually you know this is who i am as a person you know, I don't have to be like not a long distance runner. I can, oh, I can't believe how badly that blush has gone. I literally look red in the face. I don't think it looks as bad on camera as it does in real life. <sighs> Which is saying something. Highlight my life. That is also a little bit much, but we'll just pretend it's not. I do my Cupid's bow. <laughs> super professional a little a little smidgen on the nose i don't really contour my nose much because i realized i realized that i really like a flat nose like i think flat noses are really attractive or really beautiful like obviously non-flat noses are also beautiful but i mean for me my nose is relatively flat and i quite like that so i was like i don't know why 
I'm supposed to like make you know a really defined bridge because yeah so I just stopped doing that <laughs> um anyway what was I saying love affirmations basically I've been teaching myself to create the mindset of of whatever it is that I want to achieve so instead of being like oh I need to just force myself and power through it's actually like that identity change that you know I am whoever I decide to be and that the stories that I tell myself about myself become true so I'm gonna choose what story I tell myself you know I'm not gonna tell myself that oh, I'm lazy and I can never eat healthily and I hate working out and I hate running long distance like no I love eating healthily I'm energetic I work out and I'm super fit and super strong and I enjoy it and I can't wait for the next workout I love running it gives me peace, how it gives me space to think, it's a stress relief. I literally just tell myself the things and it's crazy how telling yourself certain things will actually make you believe them. Like you'll literally just believe them and then you'll start living them out. Like it's actually crazy to me. Um, and it really does work, I promise. Well, it's working really well for me anyway, whether it'll work for you, I don't know. Buy my ebook, Affirmations, and find out. Add a little bit of concealer under my brow just define it that little bit more and give it that extra shape but yeah I feel like it's really satisfying to be able to create your own happiness in that way so like by digging into gratitude um, by God's grace I really feel like I've been able to be genuinely genuinely happier despite worse circumstances which is just the most insane thing when you think about it I'm gonna go for a neutral lip and I'll have to stop talking do this again nyx i don't even love this lipstick it's actually quite drying i wouldn't really recommend it so that goes on the outside and i'm using this matte soft matte cream which i love and that goes on the inside i'm also just using this shock horror nyx tinted brown mascara um and i just and i just use that on my brows to give them that extra lift I don't love it though I feel like it's kind of grey you know it's not the right colour I really wouldn't actually recommend this product that I'm currently using which is kind of funny but. so I'm just gonna add in a little bit a little bit more shadow with this darker lipstick how crazy is it that when I was younger kids used to make fun of me for my big lips and I used to wish that I had smaller lips and then once when I was younger I looked and I was like I actually like my lips because so I was like do you know what no I'm not wishing for smaller lips anymore and then nowadays everyone's changed their mind like don't listen to society kids love yourself love every feature these are just two glosses um, Revlon brown lip gloss and butter gloss from NYX love the butter gloss collection um, and yes, I also contour with my lip gloss. So I find if I just use clear lip gloss above both, it just smudges in and suddenly everything's the same colour. I don't think this look looks too bad. Usually when I do my makeup, I mean, okay, my brows are a little bit intense. But usually when I do my makeup, it's like so bad on camera. Because it all just goes wrong. I get so nervous. You guys make me nervous. And then you always do the mm -mm -mm, mm -mm, to make sure that it doesn't get on your teeth. I'm using the Dewy Finish um, setting spray. I don't love it because I feel like it just doesn't set your makeup. But <laughs> why do I keep saying that? Every product I'm like, wouldn't recommend, wouldn't recommend. She says that she uses it. I'm not actually a makeup artist or a makeup YouTuber. So when I buy stuff, I buy stuff and I'm like, I'm going to finish that whether I love it or not. I'll let that dry and I'll let the camera deheat for a second uh, until the next step. Okay, so now that that is setting or almost set, I'm gonna do my liquid liner, which honestly is always an adventure, and I should actually probably use a close up mirror for this. How cute is my mum? She got me this little pocket mirror that has my name on it that says Sarah. <laughs> um, and I really have needed one for so long. Like, I would always be that girl doing my lipstick in my phone front camera. <laughs> yeah, what I try to do. Is a super thin line on the inside that gradually gets a bit thicker around the middle with a small flick at the end. I've been doing this for years now and I feel like I still haven't actually taken the time 
to learn a good technique. So it's still a bit hit and miss. But generally, it usually turns out okay. And if not, I just go for a thicker line and a bigger flick until it does. Um, I do still use this super cheapy collection Fast Stroke 2001, which is literally like 2 99 And I tried so many other liquid liners. Um, I don't know why this is just tangling. I've tried so many other liquid liners, I just don't like them. So I'm staying with this absolute bargain of a liner. That's how it's looking at the moment. Um, I feel like I do need to just touch it up. Touch it up just a tad. And they're almost always a little uneven. But honestly, if anyone notices, then they need to chill out. And also just like take a few step backs because social distancing. Um, one thing I've been loving doing recently that I used to do all the time back in the day, I have a tiny little spot on my actual skin right there. It's very faint, but when I have no makeup on, I've just got like a tiny black freckle or beauty spot, whatever it is. And I just love adding that back in. I think it adds like the tiniest bit of like character. <laughs> Obviously if you're watching this thinking, oh my goodness, her lashes are literally like four millimeters long, then you wouldn't be wrong. <laughs> I don't think I've ever really been like, you know, devastated to be without makeup. I definitely prefer wearing makeup because I just, I just love it. I think it's so much fun. Um, but I do feel like there's something about really paying attention to your natural self and natural beauty that does make you feel more confident in it. So yeah, like I, even though I don't think my skin looks that much different since all the stuff I've been using and trying, I feel good. So half of these products are probably placebo effect, but I bloomin' love that placebo effect. It is one of the most reliable effects of any intervention. <laughs> so I do still apply my favorite mascara, telescopic L'Oreal Extra Black Mascara on top of that. Um, Cause I have, you know, such, Delicate little lashes. I love the way that this brush just doesn't overpower them because most brushes, like that other brush on the Grand Lash one, is actually very like heavy handed and clumpy. And if you put that to a tiny lash, it's just gonna go and clump. So yeah, I love this brush. This one to just extend a little bit further, get that little extra lift. Do you know what I never use? Eyelash curlers, because I've always been like, oh, my eyelashes are super curly as they are, but maybe I should use those. Maybe it'll make them really lift. But you're supposed to do that before. Oh crap, I feel like I've messed up. You're supposed to do that before you mascara, aren't you? I feel like we're basically there. I'm just gonna add in a little bit of highlight to my brow bone. Get the hair back in the picture. And brush out my hair again. Gosh, it feels so stiff. Kr, 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 kr. <laughs> the sound of me dragging the knots out of my hair instead of delicately brushing them. I feel like I need some more purple shampoo. I'm feeling very, very yellow. Oh my gosh, I didn't set my makeup with powder. I literally always set my makeup with powder after my concealer and my foundation, but I forgot to do that because I was talking. I am just gonna set it because I just totally forgot. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of my setting powder, which I really should have used after my foundation, but we forgot, so that'll do. Okay, that's it. That's today's makeup look, and that's basically my everyday makeup routine, to be completely honest. If I'm wearing makeup, I tend to do a full face um, because I just love it. <laughs> Sometimes I will just put on like concealer and mascara, but I really do that because if I don't want to wear makeup, then I just won't wear makeup. If I'm wearing makeup, I'm going full ho. Um, so yeah, usually this takes me about 20 minutes, I'd say, not too long. Um, but because I've been talking, I feel like it's taken me significantly longer. Um, but yeah, this is my go-to natural neutral-ish makeup routine. I personally really like it. Um, I remember someone saying to me, I love how you barely, you're so natural, you barely wear any makeup. And I was, number one, like, I don't know if that's a compliment. Number two, I'm literally bleach blonde with a full face of makeup. So yeah, I feel like this look 
does trick people sometimes, even though that's not what I'm out here to do, you know, I want people to know that this blank canvas was painted this morning by me, thank you very much, and it took a lot of money and effort, so we're not out here trying to pretend like we didn't try, we did try, we did not wake up like this. But yeah, that is it, that is today's look for today, I hope that you've enjoyed this video, I know it's a bit different than my usual ones, but let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this, I can't even remember what I've talked about doing this video, I've just jabbered on about anything, but yeah, if you want more chitty chatty videos and you want different topics in the videos, then let me know in the comments, I can totally film them for you. But yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this amateur makeup look. Um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in my next video. Love you so much. Bye.